the future to come in 20 to 30 years? Can it be predicted in the times of global uncertainty? How to map out the contours of the future so that they are more clear and bright? And what can be done by those who are today called the next generation? Durvod Khan Suragan, the scientist who created a new theory. The young king of science. Last year, the National Center for Scientific and Technical Information stated the fact that in our country, in terms of the quantity and quality of scientific works that are considered at the world level above the average estimate, there is only one area of science, mathematics. Durvud Khan Suragan is a doctor of science and assistant professor at the Nazarbayev University. He passed an internship in the U.S. at the Kuran Institute of Mathematical Sciences at New York University. He received a master's degree in theoretical physics at the British University, King's College, London. He is the youngest scientist and the first representative of Asia who was awarded the Farin Sunyer E. Balagur International Prize. I was born and grew up in Mongolia, the locality where the Kazakhs live. Like every rural child, I helped my parents with the household. My childhood coincided with the economic crisis. In the rural areas of Mongolia, in order to feed the family, it is necessary to be engaged in cattle breeding. I was the youngest in my family, that's why I had to live in the steppe and graze livestock. As a result, I was not able to go to school. I had to study on my own. In the step, I grazed the sheep and solved in my mind various mathematical problems. I liked all subjects related to mathematics. I had the opportunity to study at school only the two three years before graduation. By the way, when I came to school, I noticed that I knew some subjects even better than my peers. I even managed to take part in the Olympiads. In 2005, after graduating from high school in Mongolia, I returned to my historic homeland. I arrived in Almaty and passed the unified national testing. As a result of the test, I received a grant to study at the Kazakh National University named after Alpha Rabi at the Faculty of Mechanics and Mathematics, specializing in mechanics. After I got the bachelor's degree, my supervisor told me we used to do science in Russian but the new generation will do it in English. Therefore, the role of this language today is very important for our science. In the end, I was sent to an internship in New York. In New York, there is Courant Institute of Mathematical Sciences. It is very well known worldwide, and I passed my internship there. One day, I was in the library solving a math problem. This problem was so interesting that I did not notice that I had stayed until midnight. I left the institute and went home, but I could not find the metro station that I used every day. I literally lost my way. Because I did not know English well, I could not address the passers-by, and I was walking around the bush. Apparently, I seemed too obtrusive, and two policemen approached me. They began to question me. Where did I come from? Where did I live? And my only answer was, I do not know. At some point, I pulled my passport out of my pocket and said, I'm a mathematician. 
That was the only word that came to my mind. In America, scientists are treated with special respect. And these policemen by the passport quickly found out my place of residence and took me home. The irony is that I often met these two policemen on my way and they sometimes joked, hey Kazakh man, did you forget the way to your home country? Make sure that you have a valid visa. I received my master's degree in theoretical physics at the University of King's College, London. I entered there under the presidential program Balashak. I received my PhD in mathematics at the Al Farabi Kazakh National University. After defending my doctoral dissertation, I went to the UK, to the Imperial College of London, to continue postdoctoral research. I did not come to mathematics casually. I have had a special interest in this subject since childhood. Actually, I did not set myself the goal of becoming a scientist. My teachers led me to science. In my first years at the Kazakh National University, named after Al-Farabi, Professor Baltabia Kangojin noticed my abilities and began to teach me individually. He showed me the way to science. He told me that if I followed that path, it would be a right step. He was my first teacher. My other mentor is my foreign scientific supervisor, Ari Laptev. He lives in Sweden now. Despite the distance, we still have close contact and I always consult with him. There is the Institute of Mathematics and Mathematical Modeling in Almaty. I started my professional career at that institute, working there as a laboratory assistant in my student years. I can remember that my first salary was around 5,000 tenge. Later, I was engaged in scientific projects at that institute, and at the same time, I taught mathematics at the university named after Al-Farabi. In addition, I gave lectures at the university as part of a joint program with our Institute of Postgraduate Education. I found an answer in spectral geometry. For example, if we take membranes of the same square but different shape, then the circle form membrane creates the lowest frequency. I gave the same lectures abroad. At the University of Imperial College London, I combined these lectures with my own research. When I returned from Great Britain to Almaty, I conducted classes at the university named after Sulim Am Demirel. Usually, in classical case, from energy stimulus follows, usually. And today I teach here in Astana at the Nazarbayev University. The Ferenc Sunyer Award is considered one of the most prestigious awards for the published monograph in the field of mathematics. The book has two authors. One of them is me and the other is a professor at the Imperial College London. Mikhail Ruthansky, the Imperial College of Londres, and Durbutkan Suragan, the Nazarbayev University of Kazakhstan. We did not set a goal to write a book and get a prize for it. 
In mathematics, there are two independent classical directions. One of them is called group therapy, and the other is analysis. We combined these two sections and created a new theory. Using a new theory, we obtain new methods for solving mathematical problems. To be honest, we were writing a book for a very long time. It took us two to three years and we finished it only last year. After we had finished this work, many of us were advised to send it to the contest to compete for the Ferran Senior Award. We sent this book and I forgot about it. And suddenly I received a letter saying that we had been awarded the prize. Until that moment I knew many mathematicians who had received this award. I admired them and grew up on their books. Therefore I'm proud and glad that I have joined the number of these mathematicians who are recognized throughout the world. Although you cannot see the presence of a fundamental science in your life, it guarantees the qualitative knowledge. And young people who get a quality education are the future of the nation. So if we want our country to be stable, eternal, the science must be based on the same knowledge. Take, for example, the UK. This is an example of an internal state. The superiority of this country is largely due to fundamental science. It includes the laws of Newton and his mathematics. Economics is an illusion. If you look from the historic point of view, any country in this world used to be rich in terms of traditions, customs and language. But if we mention the countries that we consider promising and progressive, we can see that they are distinguished by one important feature. They have developed a fundamental science. I would like to note that now in our modern open society the number of young talented people is growing. Thanks to the state programs thousands of graduates receive education abroad and then return home and work here. Science is a kind of marathon, it takes a lot of time and effort, and health problems can become a big obstacle. That's why you must always pay attention to your health. There should not be a hobby, but health in the first place. I try to use every opportunity to have a rest with my colleagues in the open air. We ride bicycles, play tennis and do light sports. Last time when we were sitting with friends, I told them I looked very much like Astana. They asked in astonishment, how can you look like a city? The fact is that Astana is updated everywhere. New buildings emerge, the boundaries of the city expand. And this process resembles the stages of personal growth. I also grow. I've recently come to science. I've recently created a family. I have a young family that is just getting up. My children are still very young. And my inner world changes. It is updated every year, just like Astana. Therefore, when I look at this city, I see my reflection in it.
Now, Dudovor Khan Suragan is planning a trip to Rio de Janeiro. In the universities of the Brazilian city, they will give lectures on his subject. The long-term goal of the young scientist is to become one of the best mathematicians in the world and make a significant contribution to the recognition of Kazakh science by the international community.